What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Movie Race. Riverdale is ending. That's right, guys. No more KJ Apa, Lily Reinhart, Camila Mendez, and Cole Sprouse together. But is the series getting back to its original timeline? Are Betty and Archie endgame? Here's everything we know about the CW's upcoming seventh season of the popular mystery series. Let's start off with the fact that this is the last season. After following our favorite gang for years after being with them through heartbreaks, joy, misery, slow burn romances, and even some of the most hurtful goodbyes in the history of cinema, Riverdale is ending with a final season that will hopefully answer all of our questions. Who's dead? Who died? James Dean. Based on the Archie comics, the psychological teen drama premiered in 2017, and fans were pretty fascinated with its plot and its incredible cast ensemble that includes KJ Apa as Archie Andrews, Madeline Pretch as Cheryl Blossom, Lily Reinhardt as Betty Cooper, Camila Mendez as Veronica Lodge, and Cole Sprouse as Jughead Jones. The show has everything you'll ever need in a mystery drama, even a lot of unforgettable musical numbers and, well, time travel. The sixth installment of the show was a bit surprising to say the least, considering the fact that the characters develop superpowers. Because of the superpower introduction, we got a chance to meet Kieran Shipka's Sabrina Spellman, a character that led her own TV show on Netflix, The Chilling Adventures of Sabrina. So where did season six leave our beloved characters? Well, for starters, Cheryl Blossom developed the superpower of pyrokinesis. With it, she can control fire with her mind. To be honest, I wasn't really sure what was happening in the show's sixth season at first, but now I have no idea what happened. No, seriously, the sixth installment included a lot of shifts and now it's really hard to follow the plot. I'll be real with you, this is not the Riverdale we knew back in 2017. The last installment is nothing compared to the first season as it really differs from the original story. According to a lot of fans, the show was supposed to end sometime in season four. I don't agree with this because I believe that the show has the potential of lasting at least seven seasons. The problem is that the writers think if they include everything that pops into their minds, we'll get a more enjoyable plot. What do you guys think? After Riverdale season 6 ended on July 31st, 2022, the Riverdale characters were sent back in time, an event that basically sets up the plot for the final installment. In March 2022, it was announced that Riverdale would be renewed for season 7. The announcement also confirmed the renewal of CW shows such as The Flash, Superman on Lois, Kung Fu, and Nancy Drew. Sadly or fortunately, the creators also confirmed that season 7 would be the series' final season. The CW did this with several TV shows as they also cancelled Charmed, Dynasty, 4400, Batwoman, and DC's Legends of Tomorrow. Unlike these TV shows, Riverdale is given the chance to give us a proper ending. So, what else do we know about the show's final installment? Well, we do know that filming's started. The filming of the final season of Riverdale started on October 17th this year, meaning that the creators will still have enough time to come up with a proper conclusion. Riverdale's writer Ted Sullivan announced the filming news on Instagram, first shot, final season, he wrote, adding that he couldn't believe that they were actually here. But such a great season is coming, can't wait for you all to see it, it better be good. The big question is, where are the characters now? Where did season 6 take them? Apparently back in the 50s. Writer and producer Roberto announced on Instagram that season 7's first episode is titled Don't Worry Darling and will be set in the 1950s. Okay, that sounds a bit confusing. What about a release date? Sadly, the CW is yet to reveal an exact release date, but we don't even need that because Riverdale follows a precise schedule when it comes to releasing dates. So aside from season 5, which was impacted by the pandemic, every season of Riverdale was released around October or November. So our guest is we'll see the upcoming episode sometime in October or November 2023. The question that bothers us the most is, though, are Betty and Archie endgame? If you ask us now, we're not even sure if Riverdale will give its characters a happily ever after. Appa addressed this question in May 2022. The actor was asked about Barchi's uncertain future, telling us weekly, I don't know, but I'm very, very anxious to see. Same, Appa, same. The actor also talked about Archie and Betty's future after his character shared 
to kiss with his ex, Veronica. I think Archie's very much loving his time with Betty and imagining a potential future with her, which includes kids and her family and being married, which is why that scene kind of struck me. He exclusively told us, I don't think the kiss meant anything more to Archie. When asked whether Jughead could perhaps reunite with his ex-girlfriend, Betty, Appa told TV Line, I wouldn't be worried about that. I don't think that's gonna happen. He also confirmed that you need to smash that like button if you haven't done it already. Another question we have in mind is whether season 7 is a direct continuation. With the show entering the 50s, will this season serve as a direct continuation? Roberto told Us Magazine that they are going to hunker down and be in the 50s and kind of deconstruct not just Archie Comics, but what Riverdale has been and have it in dialogue with what people think of as Archie Comics. That said, it's not a clean break, the showrunner explained, adding that the upcoming installment is actually continuing with the first six seasons, kind of the same way that Riverdale ended up with continuing in the rest of the season. So what does Camila Mendez think of the upcoming installment? Well, she mentioned something about an open mind. In September 2022, Camila decided to talk about the character's conclusion in the series, explaining that she really has no idea but knows for sure that she just wants to keep an open mind and see what it looks like to have more free time in her life. At least that's what she told Entertainment Tonight. In the same interview, she said she is sure about one thing. She'll be so emotional when the series finishes the seventh and final season. I've grown up with these people. Another thing most fans are interested in is in the cast who can return. KJ App is Archie Andrews, Lily Reinhardt is Betty Cooper, Camila Mendez is Veronica Lodge, and Cole Sprouse is Jughead Jones. Those four actors are definitely returning to reprise their roles in the final installment of the show. But are there any new faces? In an interview with Decider, the showrunner said that we might see some forgotten characters that appeared in earlier seasons of the series. In his own words, he sees season 7 as a celebration and reunion for anyone that's been a part of Riverdale. But what does that mean? Who could return for a tearful goodbye? Well, according to most fans, we'll definitely see Jughead's father, FP. Listen, I would love, 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 love to have Skeet Ulrich back, said Roberto. This sounds like a great idea, don't you think? He also said you need to smash that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll never miss any of our videos in the future. But what about Sabrina? She made quite the impression in the sixth installment, so naturally fans expect to see her in the final one as well. Yeah, she has to come back, she told Collider, explaining how she thinks they're gonna need her help again. Like, for entertainment's sake, I would say they should lean into the chaos, no pun intended, as much as they can and work hard and have faith that it's all gonna work out. But at the end of the day, just truly probably call Sabrina again. See you in the next video.